In a dimly lit workshop in Harare, Zimbabwe, a lone inventor tinkers with wires, circuits, and metal casings. The hum of a newly assembled machine fills the air, a sound that could change the future of energy in Africa. This is Maxwell Chikambutso, a self-taught engineer whose groundbreaking invention, a self-charging, fuel-free generator, is bringing electricity to communities that have lived in darkness for decades. Across Africa, 600 million people still lack access to reliable electricity. Families rely on kerosene lamps, businesses shut down when the sun sets, and hospitals struggle to keep life-saving equipment running. But Maxwell's generator, a device that defies conventional physics, could be the key to unlocking a new era of energy independence. How did one man with no formal engineering degree create a machine that could power entire villages? And what does his invention mean for the future of Africa and the world? Maxwell Chikambutso was not a typical engineer. Born in Zimbabwe, he grew up fascinated by electronics, often dismantling radios and old appliances to understand how they worked. His curiosity led him to experiment with alternative energy solutions, driven by the constant power outages that plagued his country. Unreliable grids. Many African nations suffer from frequent blackouts, with some areas having no electricity at all. High costs. Diesel generators are expensive to run, and solar panels remain unaffordable for most rural families. Environmental harm. Kerosene lamps and diesel fumes contribute to pollution and respiratory diseases. Maxwell saw these challenges not as obstacles, but as an opportunity. After years of trial and error, Maxwell unveiled his Seth Holdings generator, a device that he claims produces more energy than it consumes, seemingly violating the laws of thermodynamics. No fuel needed. Unlike diesel generators, it doesn't require gasoline, solar, or wind. Self-sustaining. It allegedly generates electricity indefinitely once activated. Scalable. Can power a single home or an entire village. Skeptics questioned its feasibility, but for those who saw it work, the results were undeniable. In rural Zimbabwe, where electricity is a luxury, Maxwell's generators have brought light to families who once relied on candles. A mother's relief. Before, my children couldn't study at night. Now, they have light to read and do homework, says Miriam, a villager in Chitungwiza. Small businesses thrive. Tailors, barbershops, and market stalls stay open after sunset, boosting local economies. Clinics equipped with Maxwell's generators can now refrigerate vaccines and run medical equipment without fear of blackouts. A doctor's testimony. Before, we lost medicines when the power failed. Now, we can save lives consistently, says Dr. Tafadzwa from a Harare clinic. Schools with electricity see improved attendance. Children no longer leave early before darkness falls. A teacher's joy. We can now use projectors and computers. The kids are learning faster, says Mr. Chibaya, a primary school teacher. Maxwell's invention is more than just a machine. It's the foundation of a sustainable energy revolution. Maxwell envisions his technology expanding across Africa. Microgrids, powering remote communities without waiting for national grid expansion. Job creation, training local technicians to install and maintain the generators. Export potential, bringing African-made energy solutions to the world. Despite its promise, Maxwell's generator has faced skepticism, scientific scrutiny, Physicists question how it produces excess energy. Funding hurdles. Investors hesitate without peer-reviewed validation. Government barriers. Bureaucracy slows adoption in some countries. Yet, for those benefiting from it, the proof is in the results. Maxwell's path wasn't easy. He faced financial struggles. Sold personal belongings to fund his research. Doubters. Many dismissed his ideas as impossible. Legal battles. Some governments initially blocked his work, fearing disruption to energy monopolies. But his relentless belief kept him going. Today, he stands as a symbol of African innovation, proof that solutions to the continent's biggest challenges can come from within. Maxwell's story is just beginning. To accelerate this energy revolution, we must white heavy check marks support African innovators, fund local inventors with bold ideas, 
white heavy check mark demand government backing push for policies that enable not hinder innovation white heavy check mark spread awareness share maxwell's work to inspire the next generation of problem solvers africa doesn't need to wait for foreign aid or outdated infrastructure with visionaries like maxwell the continent can leapfrog into a new energy era one where every home has power every child can study at night and every business thrives the story of Maxwell Chikambuzo and his revolutionary generator represents more than just an engineering breakthrough. It embodies the untapped potential of African innovation to solve some of the continent's most persistent challenges. As his technology continues to gain attention, several critical aspects emerge that deserve deeper exploration. The implications extend far beyond the immediate benefits of electrification, touching on economic transformation, scientific paradigms, and the very nature of technological development in emerging markets. One of the most compelling dimensions of this story lies in its grassroots origins. Unlike many energy solutions imposed on Africa from foreign entities, Maxwell's generator emerged from direct experience with the problems it seeks to solve. This indigenous innovation factor cannot be overstated. The device was designed with intimate knowledge of African conditions, from voltage fluctuations to dusty environments and maintenance challenges in remote areas. The generator's apparent simplicity in operation belies its sophisticated engineering, making it particularly suited for rural implementation where complex technical support may be unavailable. Local technicians can reportedly be trained in its maintenance within weeks, creating immediate job opportunities while ensuring sustainable operation. The economic ripple effects of reliable electricity in previously off-grid communities are already becoming visible. Beyond the obvious benefits of lighting and appliance use, the generator's impact on microenterprises is creating new economic ecosystems. Small-scale manufacturers can now operate power tools, food processors can extend their preservation capabilities, and digital services are reaching areas previously excluded from the information economy. Perhaps most significantly, the ability to charge mobile phones consistently has connected remote communities to mobile banking and market information systems, accelerating financial inclusion. These second-order effects demonstrate how energy access acts as a multiplier for development, unlocking capabilities across multiple sectors simultaneously. However, the technology's reception within the scientific community presents a fascinating tension. While mainstream physics raises valid questions about the generator's claimed energy ratios, the practical results demand attention regardless of theoretical frameworks. This dichotomy between established scientific principles and demonstrable real-world performance echoes historical moments when breakthrough technologies faced initial skepticism. The situation invites reflection on how scientific validation systems might better engage with innovations emerging outside traditional research institutions, particularly from regions where conventional testing infrastructure may be limited. Some African universities have begun independent evaluations of the technology, potentially paving the way for a new model of peer review that bridges formal science and grassroots invention. The geopolitical dimensions of this energy solution are equally noteworthy. As African nations seek energy independence, technologies like Maxwell's generator could reduce reliance on imported fuels and centralized power systems vulnerable to external shocks. This aligns with broader continental movements toward technological sovereignty and the African Union's Agenda 2063 goals. Interestingly, the generator's emergence coincides with growing global interest in decentralized energy systems, suggesting Africa may now be positioned to lead rather than follow in this technological shift. The potential exists for African nations to leapfrog traditional grid development stages entirely, moving directly to modular, resilient power solutions that bypass the vulnerabilities of centralized infrastructure. Financing and scaling the technology present both challenges and opportunities. Traditional venture capital models often struggle to evaluate such unconventional innovations, while development funding frequently prioritizes large-scale infrastructure projects over grassroots solutions. This gap has led to interesting hybrid approaches, with some communities adopting cooperative ownership models for the generators, while diaspora investment networks provide alternative funding channels. The manufacturing scale-up questions are particularly pressing. How to maintain quality control while meeting overwhelming demand, 
and whether localized production clusters could emerge across different regions. Some industry observers suggest the technology might follow the mobile phone revolution's trajectory in Africa, where localized adaptation and distribution networks drove unprecedented adoption rates. The human dimension of this story continues to inspire. Maxwell's journey from self-taught inventor to technological pioneer has ignited imaginations across the continent. School children in multiple countries now cite him as proof that African solutions to African problems are possible, while engineering students study his approaches to problem solving. This cultural impact may prove as significant as the technology itself, challenging persistent narratives about African technological dependency. The generator's development process, rooted in iterative prototyping and immediate field testing, offers an alternative model to conventional research and development pathways, one particularly suited to resource-constrained environments. Environmental considerations add another layer of complexity. While the generator's clean operation represents a dramatic improvement over diesel alternatives, its full ecological impact requires ongoing assessment. The material sourcing, manufacturing processes, and eventual recycling of components all factor into its sustainability profile. Some environmental scientists have begun studying how such decentralized energy solutions might intersect with climate adaptation strategies, particularly in regions facing increasing energy insecurity due to climate change. Early indications suggest the technology could significantly reduce carbon footprints in rural electrification while being inherently resilient to climate disruptions that affect centralized power systems. The road ahead for Maxwell's invention will likely involve navigating complex terrain where technology, policy, finance, and social change intersect. Each new village illuminated by the generator provides both validation and new lessons for refinement. As the technology evolves, so too must the ecosystems supporting its implementation, from customized financing instruments to adapted regulatory frameworks. What began as one man's vision in a Zimbabwean workshop now stands at the center of much broader conversations about energy justice, technological sovereignty, and sustainable development. The ultimate significance of Maxwell's generator may lie not just in the electricity it produces, but in the powerful current of possibility it has unleashed across Africa and beyond. The generator's story continues unfolding daily, with new applications emerging in agriculture, water pumping, and telecommunications. Its adaptability to different community needs suggests a platform technology that could spawn multiple specialized variants. Some health clinics are experimenting with generator-powered medical sterilization systems, while rural schools are developing multimedia classrooms unimaginable just years ago. This organic, demand-driven innovation process contrasts sharply with traditional energy project rollouts, offering insights into how technology diffusion might be reimagined in development contexts. Cultural perceptions of technology are shifting alongside the generator's spread. Where imported solutions were once automatically privileged, there's growing pride in locally developed alternatives. This psychological transformation may have far-reaching consequences for Africa's innovation ecosystems, potentially increasing risk appetite among young inventors and altering community attitudes toward adopting new technologies. The generator's visible impact is creating a virtuous cycle where successful implementation builds trust in homegrown solutions, paving the way for further innovation adoption. The international development community watches these developments with keen interest. Maxwell's generator challenges several assumptions about how energy access should be achieved in low-resource settings. Its emergence during global conversations about just energy transitions adds timely relevance, offering a concrete example of how decarbonization might align with development priorities. Some analysts suggest the technology could influence how international climate financing is allocated, demonstrating that emission reduction and energy access need not be competing objectives. As the technology matures, questions of intellectual property and knowledge sharing take on new urgency. Maxwell's choices about open sourcing versus proprietary control could significantly influence how quickly the technology spreads and evolves. Some advocate for a hybrid approach where core innovations remain protected while implementation knowledge is widely shared, creating an innovation commons around the technology. These decisions will shape not just the generator's future, but potentially establish precedents for how African-led technologies navigate the global innovation landscape.
the generator's success has sparked interest in other indigenous energy solutions across the continent. From Nigerian biofuel innovations to Kenyan smart metering systems, a wave of energy entrepreneurship is gaining momentum, united by common themes of local relevance and resilient design. This movement suggests Africa may be entering a new era of technological self-determination, where solutions emerge from deep understanding of local conditions rather than being imported from contexts with different challenges and priorities. Maxwell's generator stands as both catalyst and symbol of this shift. Ultimately, the measure of this technology's success will extend beyond kilowatt hours generated. Its true legacy may lie in how it redefines expectations of what African innovators can achieve, of how energy solutions should be designed, and of where the world might look for the next great technological leap. As more communities experience the transformation that reliable electricity brings, the demand for such locally rooted solutions will only grow. The generator's light illuminates not just homes, but a path forward for inclusive, sustainable development powered from within Africa itself. The ongoing narrative of Maxwell's generator continues to surprise and inspire. Each month brings new testimonials from unexpected locations, a refugee camp where the generator's power water purification a conservation area where they run anti-poaching sensors, a maternity clinic where they ensure uninterrupted service during blackouts. These diverse applications underscore the technology's flexibility and the creativity of communities adapting it to their specific needs. Such organic proliferation suggests we may be witnessing not just a technological innovation, but the birth of an entirely new energy paradigm tailored to the global South's realities.